Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Sano and Cody again. And we have another real life word problem for you to solve. So here's our problem for today. Cody had nine carrots. He shared his nine carrots with his best friends, Pete and Humvee. How many carrots did each horse get to eat? Frosty's back to help us solve this word problem. I've already written my name at the top of the paper. Let's read the problem together. Cody had nine carrots. He shared them with two of his friends. How many carrots did each horse get? I already see a couple of important numbers in this problem. I see the number nine carrots and the number two friends. I also see a couple of important math words in this problem. First is the word shared, and the other word is the word each. He shared them with two of his friends. That means he gave some to his friends and didn't keep them all to himself. Also, the word each means that each horse got carrots. Think of all the different strategies you could use to solve this problem. What do you think you're going to do? I think I'm going to start by using my counters again. I'm going to use the orange beads for the carrots. And I found a brown bead for Cody, Pete, and for Humvee. In the problem, it said Cody had nine carrots. Let's count out nine carrots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do I need these extra carrots? I don't think so. I'm gonna put them to the side so I don't get them mixed up with my other counters. What do you think our next step should be? Hmm, I think I'm gonna give each horse one carrot to start with. One for Cody, one for Pete, and one for Humvee. There's still carrots left over. Let's give them each another carrot. One for Cody, one for Pete, and one for Humvee. Wow, I still have carrots left over. Let's give them each one more carrot. One for Cody, one for Pete, and one for Humvee. I don't have any more carrots left. Let's see how many carrots each of the horses got. Cody got one, two, three carrots. Pete got one, two, three carrots. And Humvee got one, two, three carrots. They each got three carrots. I'm going to carefully move everything up just a little bit so I can draw a picture of what I did with my counters. First, I'm going to use the brown and I'm going to draw three buckets for the horse's carrots. Cody, Pete, and Humvee. Then, let's draw the number of carrots they have in each of their buckets. One, two, three for Cody. I think I'll draw three triangles because carrots are shaped like a triangle. One, two, three. Hmm. I think it needs a little green top. Let's give them a little green top so they look a little bit more like carrots. That looks better. Pete had one, two, three carrots. Let's draw one, two, three carrots. And, oh, this one needs a top. And Humvee also had one, two, three carrots. Let's count 
and make sure we have nine carrots that Cody started with all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, I drew a picture of what I did. Let's move these out of the way. And I'm gonna use the number bond and sh to show what I did. I'm going to start with nine carrots and Cody got three. Let's write a three here and a three for Pete and a three for Humvee. So I know Cody had three carrots. How many carrots should I write in this box? Let's look at Pete's. Three carrots. And how many for Humvee? Let's look, three carrots for Humvee. So today I showed my word problem in two different ways. I used pictures and I used a number bond. Cody sure does love his carrots, but he also loves to share them with his friends. See if you can solve the same word problem using these number sets. Cody had 12 carrots. He shared them with three of his friends. How many carrots did each horse get? Or for a challenge, try Cody had 20 carrots. He shared them with four of his friends. How many carrots did each horse get? Don't forget to give Cody some carrots when you're passing them out. Have fun with your math problem. Cody and I will see you real soon.